This is Have You Stretched Today? Flexology 10 Day Challenge. And please make sure that you are warmed up before you start these drills. Make sure that you are warm. Okay, let's get so it. Starting with the hip hinge, just going back and forth. And please note I'm doing this on both sides. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to show one side. And doing some circles as well. Making sure I circle in both directions. And when we're ready, we're going to go into a lunge. You want to make sure that your knee is not over your foot. And in this lunge, we're going to sit up straight and shoot our hands down into the ground just holding it hold and breathe hold and breathe this is a static drill hold and breathe now i'm going to sit my butt back and stretch out my hamstring and i'm going to point my toe as i do this you do not have to lay all the way down which means bring my head to my knees this height level you can stay there or if you have a little bit more flexibility you can come down to the knee but once again going up high it's fine and we're gonna move the foot right to left right to left right to left breathe and once again you can stay up higher moving that foot right to left now we're gonna shift back into a low lunge and I'm gonna show modifications in three two one so you see I have my block now and I'm gonna turn around and show you an opposite side. So all you're gonna do is take your block and you're gonna put your elbows onto the block if you cannot go low down onto the floor. Because once again, it's not about how low you can go, it's about the mechanics and the drills. And you're gonna hold this and breathe. Hold and breathe. And remember, we are doing this on both sides. So now I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna shoot my same arm, same leg through. And if this is all you have, just keep it there. But if you have a little bit more flexibility in the arms, you're gonna wrap it around your back, that's level two. And then if you have extra flexibility, we're gonna take the opposite arm and we're gonna hold the hand. So once again, you can keep the hands out, right where it's at, two, right there, or three, hold it. We're holding. Now you're gonna sit in a pancake and spread your legs as far apart as you can and lift your butt from under yourself and you're gonna walk your hands in front of you and once again when you feel it in your hips then you stop and you place your elbows down you're gonna stop where you feel comfortable and if you can go further you slide your arms and you're gonna flex and point your feet flex and point and breathe flexing and pointing so as we're flexing and pointing you're gonna take your torso and just go from side to side and then you're gonna walk to any side that you want to start first head down to the knee but remember if your head cannot reach your knee the point is just going over the leg hold for a few breaths and then we're gonna stay at the position as far as how low you are and you're gonna lift your knees left and right or up and down at the same time flexing pointing lifting the knee wait a minute make sure that you're doing these drills three times minimum and holding it for 45 seconds to one minute three times minimum 45 seconds to one minute all right let's continue so now you're going to sit with both of your feet together pointed toe and now we're going to lift our arms and you are going to reach forward and wherever you stop and you can't go anymore you're going to place your arms down and if you can go further you're going to drop to the elbow and if you can go further you're going to slide your feet out and make sure that your chest is flush down and if it's tight this is the trick that i have you're gonna move your knees up and down, up and down. And what this is gonna do is, it's gonna allow you to inhale, and when you exhale, you'll be able to push your chest further down onto your knees, which allows you to reach forward 
to get deeper in that forward fold. So that flat back that we're all looking for in the forward fold, that's the trick that I have. And you can keep moving your knees up and down, up and down and reaching. And you're going to flex and point to loosen up the hamstring. So this next pose we're doing is a plow pose. You are going to bring your butt up and take your hands and place it right under your butt to assist you. And if your feet cannot touch the floor, that is fine. Stay where you are. But once your feet hits the floor, toes are going to be pointed and you're going to move your knees up and down up and down basically having a knee go towards the floor keep bringing the knee towards your face breathing and if this is all you can do take a break and then come right back to it but if you have more you see how I'm sliding my feet back bringing the knee in close sliding my feet back bringing the knee close this is going to allow me to compress and get my knees closer to the ground because the closer you are, as far as with your knees to the ground, the more you can send your butt towards your face, which will help with compression. I'm going to come up and over and I'll show you what that looks like from the side. I'm going to come up and over. So it's not hands, it's pelvis, just like we did on full fold. If you was here for full fold, this would be easy. Not throwing shade. And we're gonna come down and we're gonna hold for, let's hear it, 45 seconds to one minute, yes. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. Now, once again, if you cannot get flush down to the leg, holding it up here is fine. If your leg is up here, that is fine too. But a tip, you can take your hand, not put it on the knee, put it on the inside and push down. But what happens is it's gonna be tight. So if you have to stay up here because you're working this, that's fine too, okay? So now we're gonna go back to the opposite side. After doing it three times minimum on each side. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna grab your foot. And you see how I bent it? I'll turn to the side for you. I'm gonna grab my foot, pick it up, and I'm gonna ooh, send it back. I'm gonna turn to the back. It's not out here. My leg is not flushed onto my elbow, but it's close to my elbow. It's not here, it's here, okay? And I'm going to pull out, pull back, out and back, out and back. And I want you to do that 10 times. And on the 10th, I'm gonna hold for five seconds. Then of course, switch to the opposite side, pick up the leg, shift, shift 10 times. That's three, four. Okay, so let's do some pretzels. But before I start, I just want to say, you can see from the video that it's bits and pieces from exercises and drills we did from the other days, which shows you that these things cross each other. Everything is overlapping. So even though this isn't a forward fold, it still has folding fold stretching elements because it's still compressing your body um, forward. So I just wanted to point that out that this is why um these drills will help improve your overall flexibility because they all overlap with each other so even though we did different poses for this entire challenge it all goes together so you're not going to need a strap with this one because you are going to need to be able to hold onto your foot the strap unless you're going to grab the strap by the tippy top which you might as well grab your foot this is still a modification version of a pretzel so once again, do what you can. So, doesn't matter which leg you start with, we're gonna try to do both, whether you can lift one leg or not. So, I'm gonna start my strongest leg, <laughs> of course. 
So I'm going to bring my leg up and foot is going to come in. So once again, you can pick up your foot. You're going to send your knee back and you can bring this foot right here. Or if you can, you're going to wrap it around the pit of your elbow and you're going to bring it into your chest. Just to open up the hip a little bit more because it's your foot is really going to look like this once you wrap it around. So now that same leg, I'm going to take my inside arm and I'm going to thread it under. But as I thread it under, same arm, same leg is going to help me shift this leg into my shoulder. So now you're going to take the opposite and grab your foot then put this hand down. So if this is all you have right here, this right here, with not moving anything else. Let's straighten that leg a little bit so you can see you a little bit more. Or you could leave it right here. Or you could peekaboo. Working towards your pretzel. Boom, I'm in my pretzel. But if you can go a little bit further, and your foot could be bending on the inside, straight me. Don't mind me if I keep moving my feet. Now, level two is this was one. I'm going to open my leg for level two. Boom. Pretzel. I'm in my pretzel. Now, what you need to do is turn your head away from your foot. Away from your foot. So this is one. This is two. Turn is three. Because what's going to happen is you need to take this leg and put it behind your head. So taking the leg and then shifting it on your shoulder and then grabbing it from the opposite side and then going here and shooting it behind you, it gives you more of an opening to turn your head to take that leg and to put it around your neck. Okay? So, level one, pretzel. Level two, pretzel. Level three, pretzel. Even if you just get it to the top of your head, <laughs> I'm in my pretzel. Level four. pretzel okay so now I'm gonna do it with both feet and I want you to think about the plow pose you just did but now getting your arms through it so now I bring my feet up and I open my legs and bring my arms through and bend at the knee so it's important for you to get your elbows and your arms in the excuse me behind your knee pit it's important for you to get your arms behind your knee pit. Once again, if that's a little bit too much, then just stick to the one. The one. This is very hip heavy, very four four heavy. So do not feel no way if you cannot get it. Please. One is good. Putting your foot towards your head on it is beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to send my booty up. Which makes me, I can, now, if I, it actually creates more space for me to, in my legs. You see this? more space for me to shoot my arms through and to see my head so I'm gonna do it one more time but I'm not gonna say anything Thank you for joining me today. 
you are one step closer to be on your way to your flexible journey. Thank you. Cheers.